Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. 11.45 in Honolulu, 5.45 in New York on Wednesday, 13th day of November 2024 and this is the evening report for gold and silver. Traders, gold is currently down double digits, almost a full percentage point, partially due to dollar strength. The dollar is up about a half a percent. It has been dollar strength recently that has curtailed gold from moving higher and, in fact, pressured gold lower. The dollar has been on a tear, considering that it was trading at around 100 on the index at the beginning of October and is currently just above 106 at 106.516, meaning the dollar has gained approximately 6% in value against the basket of currencies it is paired against. We are looking at a standard line chart with the dollar in green and gold prices in gold. It goes back to the beginning of the year and what we can see is a rough correlation with gold moving higher at the beginning of the year along with dollar strength. That occurred up until about July of this year when we saw the dollar fall tremendously from the end of July through October, really propelling gold much higher. But you can see in October that shifted. That is the point in which the dollar took off from about 100, as we just mentioned, up to 106. For part of that time, we saw gold continue to rise until it peaked right below 2800 and now has succumbed to dollar strength with gold moving strongly lower right before the presidential election. I speculated about the possibility that gold would find support at approximately $2,600. First, $2,600 is an important psychological and key level. Secondly, the low matched up with the exponential 100-day moving average. And lastly, when we looked at the 8-hour stochastic indicator, that had moved below 20 and hooked back up. However, the reality is today's CPI moved the dollar sharply higher and gold sharply lower, with gold declining by more than just dollar strength, meaning that there is selling pressure along with dollar strength, taking it to its current pricing of $2,578.40. We are looking for different areas where gold could find support. Obviously, it broke through $2,600. The first area I want to look at is this dotted red line at around 2568. It is really based upon these tops that came in as a level of technical support. You can see that it also served as a springboard when gold broke through that in the middle of September. In terms of the lowest I think gold could go, if it continues to succumb to dollar strength and selling pressure, would be a deep correction for this A wave of 61.8%. That comes in at $2,526.90. It also matches up with the top of what we are labeling as our wave one. In closing, dollar strength has been a major component of recent weakness in gold, but not the complete component. There has been selling pressure as the decisive outcome of the election last week allowed traders to take that uncertainty premium out of gold and that's why I believe those two combined is the reason we've seen gold lose over $200. We're looking at a split chart with gold on the top, the dollar on the bottom and what I draw your attention to, this is a daily candlestick chart currently at 106.408 on the index it matches roughly to this top that occurred in April of this year, but below the top that occurred back in October of 2023. Should the dollar continue to gain strength on a technical basis, it would break above this top strongly, and the next area we would have to look at would be 
107 and above. The combination of selling pressure and dollar strength has taken gold lower. We explained where the logical technical levels should be where we want to look for support. However, gold prices will be dictated by the fundamental events at play. And until those change and we see the dollar retreat from its exceedingly strong run, gold could either trade sideways or continue to drop. I don't think that will last forever. We want to look carefully at the two areas I talked about on our previous chart and act accordingly at that point. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.